Oh shit. Thank you. Oh, fuck the thing's on. Hold up. Thank you, Chris. Stop. I can't spell Krista. Anyways. Hey guys, how you doing? Er, move this back. Can't see it. Alright, so I'll make this quickish. Anyway, so this video is going to be on belief. I'm telling you right now, you want to pay attention because at the end you're gonna learn why your beliefs are important. It, and this is this is extremely important because this applies to any fucking thing in life. Anything. Doesn't matter if it's success, relationships, weight, work, friendships, whatever, belief, spirituality, anything. Look, here's how life works. Actually, let me back up. Here's how everything works. Whatever you believe in has to happen, pretty much. The life has to prove to you what you believe in. That's the way life works. And the fucked up thing is, even if you don't believe me on this, life has to prove to you that you're right. Because I'm telling you, the way life is set up, life is not set up on exclusion. Life is about inclusion. That's how it works. There's a part in your brain, you may have heard of it, I mean, I remember this from back in like high school. It's called the Reticular Activating System. Kind of a whacked out name for something that's very simple. But basically what it is, it's the part of your brain that proves to whatever you're thinking or focus on or believing is true. And it's a necessary part of your brain because the thing is, in, in our daily life, your body, your subconscious, is there's billions, trillions, trillions, billions of bits of information coming at you all at once. You wanna know how much you process? Like five to seven bits. That is so damn small. But there's a reason for that. Because if you took in all that information, you go crazy. You don't go crazy. You want it to stay sane. So it's important that way. Here's the thing. You have to understand something. That whatever you're focused on, that's what you're gonna get. What do you believe? And where you believe you're focusing on, you're going to get that. Here's the thing. You want to focus on what you want. Okay? It goes back to your reticular activating system here. Because if you believe and focus on something that you want to have or something you believe is easy, your mind and life will seek out, out everything around you to prove to you that what you believe is right. This is why, if you look at any religion, they all believe they're right. Why? Because that's the way life is. It doesn't matter what you believe in, life says, okay, you're right, I'm going to prove it to you based on your thinking. Christians believe they're right, Muslims believe they're right, the Jewish people believe Every other spiritual belief, they believe they're right because they get evidence that comes to them based on what they're thinking that proves them that they're right. That's how it is. It's pretty simple. Now, when it comes to your success, this is also very important. And the, people will tell you, oh, focus on what you want, you'll get it. And it's true, but here's the problem, and here's what they're missing. And I've said this before, so listen up. The thing is, when you focus on what you want, you're thinking about it. People say, well, I think about what I want, and it doesn't happen, it's bullshit. Well, when you're coming at it from a point where you're thinking about what you want, it doesn't happen. It's hard to tell if you're thinking, if you're thinking about what you want, and if you're thinking about what you don't want. Here's the problem with people, and here's what society's done to us. So they train us to think negatively, to think about what we don't want, so therefore we fail. We've been programmed to fail since day one. The truth. Now, here's the thing. How do you know if you are thinking about what you want and if you're thinking about what you don't want? It's easy. It's the one thing that they don't really go over. They may hint at it. And they're hinting at it because they don't really understand themselves, but I'm telling you it's true. When you're focused on what you want, what you're believing, you need to understand this one key point. If you, if you remember this one point, if anything else, keep this stupid, superly simple, superly, superly stupid, simple, whatever. You need to focus on one thing. And what that thing is, is how are you feeling? Now, some of you may hear that and may not believe me, but I'm telling you it's true. If you focus on how you feel, you will know if you're focused on what you want, what you don't want. If you're feeling like shit, or feeling like crap, therefore, you're not thinking of what you want. And we've all been there. 
Think about it. I've been there. Pissed off, mad, angry, sad about something. If you're afraid that my phone's going off, you're afraid of a girl breaking up with you, well, guess what happens? She, she breaks up with you. Why? Because you're feeling so hor horrible about it. It happened. That's the way life works. Likewise, have you noticed, I've noticed too, when you're in a good mood, what are you thinking about? Take notice. Next time you're happy, you're excited, you're just chilling, life's great, what are you thinking about? You think of all the things that you want. You think of a, let's get, you, 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 you're, you're probably thinking of, man, this day could be better. Um, I'm relaxed, it's great. And then, then you're probably thinking of your friends coming to you. You make it, you make it a phone call with friends saying, hey, come visit us. Whatever the case may be. That's the thing. If you're feeling like crap, you're gonna think of what you don't. You're thinking about, man, how can I pay my rent? Or I got, I got my, my account's gonna be overdrawn. Okay, I'll give you a personal example. For a long time, been dealing with the issue of not having enough money, the scarcity mindset. I know that there's, I've known that there's a lot of money out there, it's abundance, but the thing is, so it's like every time I get paid, you think, oh shit, I only have so much money, what am I gonna do? Then, inevitably, unconsciously, what I've done, what, what, what a lot of people do, is that you will spend more of it because you don't believe it's enough, and because you don't believe it's enough, Life says, I'm going to prove to you that that's not enough, and you will do something, or life will, or life will throw something at you says, see, there's not enough money in the world, here's the biggest bill you have to pay. That's what happens. And, you, and especially if you're, especially you're thinking, you're sitting there worrying about, oh my God, what's going to my bank account, what's going to my bank account, what's I used to think way back in the day when I was going through a lot of debt, always thinking about like, what's, like, I have I have this much money today, but what about tomorrow? Like, who's going to call me today saying that, I'm, that, that, I owe them, that, I owe, that I owe them like, more money, then what happened? Someone, when someone out of the blue, off my radar screen, would call me saying, "Oh, this Matthew doing here with social, we're, we're social ending, and blah 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 blah. You owe us, you know, a thousand dollars." And I'm like, "Fuck, don't do that. You won't be there. You want to feel good. You want to practice feeling good no matter what. So, if you're feeling good, therefore you're getting what you want. And if you're feeling good and you're focused on a goal." Guess what? You will believe it will happen. And if you believe it will happen, expect it. And if you act in accordance with that belief before it has happened, guess what? It'll happen. Why? Because that's the way life works. If you, it doesn't matter what the belief is. The saying goes by Napoleon Hill: Whatever the mind of man can conceive and bring itself to believe. Keep part that believe it can achieve. It doesn't matter what it, is. it doesn't matter what it is. If you believe you can make a hundred thousand dollars in thirty days, when you get shit around you, guess what? You'll do it if you expect it and believe it, and you act in accordance with that belief. If you don't believe you have enough money, and you don't believe you'll make enough money within a week or two. Guess what? It won't happen. You'll be poor, broke, and you'll be hurting for like, until you believe. Oh, I'll be good until I get this paycheck. Then when then when you get paid, you're good. So. Keep in mind that everything is just a belief. That's really all everything is. Nothing more, nothing less. Problem is, people look at life like it's accepted reality, like they can't change it. And that's not, even that is belief. And here's where you have a lot of fun. You can play with shit. Any thought that you repeat to yourself, you're minding your subconscious will accept it as truth and it becomes a belief. We do this to each other unconsciously all the time you can believe ah this is probably shit that i don't know about that i'm like oh I, oh, I, oh yeah that 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 that, that, that is a belief that, that is bullshit and when you look at life this way it becomes a game a big freaking game so what do you believe in change your belief start playing start playing with it see what happens just start saying something that says you know what start saying something simple like Something ridiculous. Something no, no. You start with something you can believe in. Like you know, start saying, start saying, I make an extra, I don't know, five hundred dollars every month. Just start saying over and over and over and over. Or you can say something like you know, I meet fun, interesting people every week. Or I meet two fun, interesting people every week, every day. Something. Just start playing with it and repeat the thought over and over and over and over and over throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month. At some point, you you one, you'll believe it. Two, you will start to attract things to prove that belief. So keep it positive. So, that's all I got. Hope you like it. Comment. 
how you feel. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was whack? I don't know. Tell me. Subscribe. Join me in what we do so we can so we can show you how to make your beliefs come true and make your dreams come true. Click click the link below. That's all I got for now. Peace.